Hello my friends, today I'm going to review the Ruger SR 1911 chambered in 10 millimeter. First I'm going to tell you a little bit about the gun, then I'm going to tell you the five things I like and the five things I hate, then I'm going to take you out to the range and we're going to shoot this bad boy. So let's get started. This is the Ruger SR 1911 which was released to the market in 2017. It is a good choice for hunting, woods defense, and target shooting. It has a 5 inch barrel, an overall length of 8.67 inches weighs 39 ounces, has a 4.5 pound trigger pull, and a magazine capacity of 8 rounds. It comes with Novak style sights on the rear and a dovetail front sight. The MSRP is $1,299. This is the most unimpressive 10 millimeter 1911 over $1,000 in my collection. Now that you know a little bit about this pistol, let me tell you the 5 things I like and the 5 things I hate. First thing I love about this pistol is the trigger. This trigger is actually really nice, even for a 1911 trigger. You have a little bit of take up right there, just a couple of micrometers, maybe, a, I don't know, maybe a millimeter. Just a very small take up and then you hit a wall and then you apply just about five pounds of pressure and boom, it breaks. After the wall, there's no give or anything. It's just wall, apply some pressure. When you get enough pressure, it just breaks. It's a clean break. It makes it really easy to not jerk the gun when you pull the trigger. It's just a nice smooth action. No jerking of the gun makes for a more accurate pistol. The second thing I like about this pistol is that it has adjustable sights. You can adjust elevation and with this screw here, you can adjust windage. So you can adjust it to be spot on. So I like that. Third thing I like about this pistol is that aside from the grips, it's an all metal pistol. So this thing's really solid, perfect for pistol whipping. If you ever need to pistol whip somebody, you wanna have an all metal pistol. I prefer having a pistol that has a nice solid feel about it. And that's what this has. Um, I also believe that being all metal, the extra weight reduces felt recoil, which also helps with accuracy you have something that just feels higher quality and gives you better accuracy. I like that. The fourth thing I love about this pistol is it feeds well. I don't remember having a single failure to feed in this pistol. And that is important to me to, to have a pistol that doesn't malfunction. There's plenty of pistols out there that don't malfunction. And so when you have one that does, it's a little bit disappointing when you come upon a pistol that malfunctions, that has a failure to feed or something. I haven't had that experience with this gun. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna ever have that experience, but when I try it out and I don't know how many failures to feed, you know what, it gives me a good impression and I like that. The fifth thing I love about this pistol is it's 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter is, in my opinion, so much better than nine millimeter. Yeah, it's just one millimeter more, but that extra millimeter makes it go from a gun that'll stop a person to a gun that'll stop a person more effectively and also stop a bear. 10 millimeter will pretty much stop most predators. For, for bears and stuff, you'll still wanna use bear rounds. And for people, you wanna use hollow points. 10 millimeter is a, a very diverse uh, caliber. Now you go up to 11 millimeter and then you got something that uh, is still good for stopping people, just not bears because 11 millimeter is much slower. And by 11 millimeter, I mean 45 caliber because that's what 45 caliber is. It's your 11 millimeter. So I know nobody says that, but that's what it is. Now that I shared with you the five things I love about this pistol, let me share with you the five things I hate. The first thing I hate about this pistol is the plastic grips. They feel cheap. I mean, they are grippy. Don't get me wrong, they're grippy. You could have some grips that are worse than this. For a $1,300 gun, I prefer have something like the G10 grips or wood grips or something, anything, but cheap synthetic grips. The second thing I hate about this pistol is that it's not so easy to take apart and it requires a tool. Now, you can disassemble it partially, uh, just like any 1911 where you pull the slide back to a certain part and then you pop that part out, but, um, and then you slide the slide off, but then if you do it that way, the barrel's not coming out. So in order to get it fully disassembled, what you gotta do is, there's a little hole in that guide rod. You gotta stick a paper clip or something in that hole. And then you release the slide a little bit. And then you can, and then you can pop that, uh, that slide lock out. And then you can take off the slide and then you can get the barrel out. But um, I don't like guns that require that. Seems like pistols that have bull barrels, a lot of them have that, uh, but not all of them do. 
So, and this does have a bull barrel. Bull barrels do have their advantage. Uh, it makes the gun a little bit more stable because it adds weight to the front, which stabilizes the pistol a little more when you shoot it. The third thing I don't like about this pistol is it's got black on black sights. Now I do love that the sight is adjustable, but when you have black on black, it makes it hard to aim, especially when you have a black target, especially when you have poor vision, because uh, when it's blurry up close, I have a hard time getting the sights lined up, especially when the target's black. So I prefer like fiber optic sights, or actually I prefer even better than fiber optic sights, I prefer an optic cutout. The fourth thing I don't like about this pistol is it doesn't have an optic cutout. Optic cutout would make it so I could aim better. Any pistol that I have that has an optic cutout where I actually have an optic on it, I'm actually pretty darn accurate with those guns. Significantly more accurate than I am with guns that have iron sights. Now that's not everybody, but you know, people that have very good vision, both close up and far away, it's easier for them to aim with iron. So the fifth thing I hate about this pistol is that, I believe I said the MSRP is around 1300 bucks. Anyway, it's over a thousand, dude. But the pistol that costs over a thousand dollars, it's actually pretty boring. You know, um, it's a Ruger. I mean, it is a functional 1911. I mean, but yeah, it has a bull barrel. Yeah, it has adjustable sight. I've got other 10 millimeter 1911s that are a lot less boring than this one, like my Dan Wessons, like my Kimbers. 1300 bucks. If you're a fan of Ruger, then it may be worth it for you to pay that much for this pistol. Granted, the Kimbers and the Dan Wessons are more expensive, typically, but, um, you can get a TSIS for half as much and it's a great gun. I'd rather actually own a TSIS than, than this one. Now, of course I own both because I have to review them. If I had to choose between a TSIS and this, I'd choose a TSIS because it's at least as good as this for half the price. Those are the five things I love, the five things I hate about this pistol. Before we go out to the range, I want you to go ahead and click that like button. If you value the Second Amendment, please subscribe to this channel because a subscription to this channel is a show of support for the Second Amendment. Also. Just want to let you know, I have well over a hundred other videos in which I review and shoot guns. I have an incredible selection of guns that I shoot on this channel. I know if you love this video, you're going to love my other ones. So check out my library and uh, sample a few more videos. And if you like those, maybe you'll consider binging. <laughs> maybe you'll consider binging and watching the rest of my videos. I'd greatly appreciate that. It'd really support the channel if you did that. Let's head out to the range now and shoot this bad boy. Okay, my friends? So this is Rex. He's taken Groba for quite a while, so now he's gonna be testing out the new version of it, Muscle. And I don't take it the way everybody else does. <laughs> Before I start taking Groba, I could never get my bench above 220. Oh, wow. um, that was always my limit. After Groba, I don't have any limits. I just keep getting better and better. Nice. <laughs> nice work, that was impressive. So unfortunately, the biggest dumbbells they have is 150 pounds. So you have to forgive me for going light today. Because it only goes up to 250 pounds. So now with these extra weights, we're at 350 pounds. You don't have limits. <laughs> you think you hit a limit, and then next time you're doing more. Yeah. It's incredible. If you lift weights at all, you need to try this product. It's going to up your game significantly. Give it a shot. Try it for a month. See how you do. If you're stuck in a plateau and you can't make any more gains, or if you just want to increase the rate at which you make gains, give this pre-workout a try. Company's clear path. The product is muscle. You'll get 25% off if you use a discount code, Cult of Arms. All one word. I'm going to put it down in the description so you can see it there. Check it out. Buy it. If you use it as directed, you're going to fall in love. Okay, we're out here at the range with the Ruger SR 1911. We've got six bottles of water set up. Let's see how we do. We're going to be shooting from about 20 to 25 feet away. Wish me luck.
missed a couple times, but I got them all. I'm gonna go ahead and set up some more targets and we'll go again. We got the metal target set up. Let's see how we do. Wish me luck. So you notice I missed them. I attribute that to the black on black sights shooting the black target. It's pretty hard for me to aim when the sights are black on black on a black target. Maybe somebody with better eyesight than me can do better than that, but that's one reason I don't like this gun is because the sights are just super cheap garbage sights. If there's anything really good about this gun other than it being a 1911, you know, I might consider changing out the space, but since there's already so many other good 1911s out there, I'll just sell this and, and use it to buy another gun. I'm going to go ahead and set up some new targets, and we'll go again. Got some blocks set up, and we're going to blast them from about 25 feet away. Uh, let's see how we do. Wish me luck. Looks like I was pretty uh, accurate this time around with the black on black sights. I don't like them, but you know, whatever, they are what they are. This gun really isn't bad to hold. The grip really isn't that bad. It's not as good as most of the others, but it's not that bad. Triggers, standard 1911 goodness. Um, uh, fairly accurate with this, standard eight round magazine. I mean, I like it, it's a good gun, but I just like my other 1911s better. Some people may be partial to Ruger, and if you are, go ahead and buy this gun. If not, then, you know, there's a lot of guns out there with uh, that are a lot more impressive, in my humble opinion. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you value the Second Amendment, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That supports the Second Amendment. And also, if you did like this video, I've got over 100 other videos in my library that you should check out. I know that you're gonna like a lot of them because I got some really cool videos out there shooting some incredible guns. You know, full autos, uh, antique guns, black powder guns, modern guns, uh, military guns. I shoot with silencers, I shoot with suppressors. I got the most powerful uh, pistol on the planet. It's a 50 BMG bolt action pistol. You guys will love that, that's an incredible video. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for coming. And I will see you again next week. Goodbye.